Hello, my name is Sis, and in today's episode of How To, I'm going to show you how to make a Waves on-off macro for a Digico SD console. Some people rely very hard on plugins, but in case of emergency, you need to have a quick way to bypass every Waves plugin connection and replace it with an onboard alternative. So, the macro we are going to create is mainly a failsafe in case of a major waves problem, for example, a computer crash. Let me show you how to make a waves on off macro. Here I prepared a session of a stereo input channel with inserted on it a Sheps Omni channel. As you can see, all the processing is happening in the Sheps Omni channel and all the onboard EQ and dynamics are off. We also have one reverb send, which is going to the H reverb in waves. With the macro on off button that I'm going to create, the goal is to bypass the insert point, to activate the onboard EQ and dynamics, and change the routing of the FX. So, we go to setup, macros, and we create a new macro. We're going to call this macro waves off. And then we press capture. We switch the screen. We deactivate insert B. We enable the compression and the EQ. Now we have to change the routing of the FX, the send and the return. We go to the send, outputs, internal, effects, percussion room. The same for the return. Main input, internal, effects, percussion room. Next, we go back to the macro window. We press capture again to stop recording the steps. We press switch screen and remove this. We don't need this in our macro. The last thing we got, to, we got to do for Waves Off is assign it to a smart key. I'm going to put it on the first smart key and give it a red color. As you can see, I put it on Action Off. On, I mean. Next, I'm going to duplicate the Waves Off. Press Duplicate. We're going to name this macro Waves On. And now we're going to change everything to its counterpart. So off has to be on and on has to be off. We can't do this for the routing of the effects. So we have to remove these steps and do them again. So we press capture, we switch the screen, go to reverb send. As you can see, it's already patched to the waves, we can double patch outputs. We have to go to the input of the return channel from percussion room to waves 9, 10. Again, switch the screen, press capture, remove switch screen again. As you can see, this macro we duplicated is automatically on the off action of the first smart key, which is very good. And we give it a green color. So now we made a waves on off button. So when I press the button, as you can see, now it's on waves on, the insert is on and the Q and the dynamics are off. And the reverb is rooted to the H reverb. When we press the button again, we have waves off. As you can see, the insert is off, the onboard dynamics and EQ are on, and the FX is rooted to the internal FX. So that's it, really simple. Thanks for watching, and if you want us to cover any specific topic regarding Pro Audio, leave a message in the comments below. See you soon.